Cells are the basic units of living organisms, and cells carry out life processes. These life processes can be remembered using the acronym STIRINGER. S stands for synthesis, cells make materials. T stands for transport, cells move materials within the cell as well as in and out of the cell. E stands for excretion, excretion means to get rid of materials. R stands for respiration. Cells make energy molecules. N stands for nutrition. Cells take in food. G stands for growth and development. Cells get bigger and change over time. R stands for reproduction. Cells make more cells. And the Last R stands for regulation. Cells control their environments. The first Stirringer life process that you will learn about is synthesis. Synthesis means to make. One example of synthesis is protein synthesis. Cells use the DNA code to make protein. Proteins are the basic building materials of living things. Some examples of proteins are enzymes, pigments, antibodies, and hormones. These proteins help organisms carry out chemical reactions and determine traits of organisms. The DNA code, which contains the instructions for making protein, is in the nucleus. The proteins are actually made at the organelle called the ribosome, which is in the cytoplasm. Both of these cell parts are involved in protein synthesis. In protein synthesis, the DNA is copied to RNA and then a protein consisting of amino acids is built. The next life process is transport. Transport involves materials moving in or out of cells through the cell membrane. These things that can be moved through the cell membrane include water, food, and waste. The cell membrane is selectively permeable. Only some materials can get in or out of the cell membrane. Sometimes cell transport requires energy. Sometimes it does not. The cell membrane is the most important cell part in terms of cell transport, since the cell membrane is the boundary between the inside of the cell and the outside of the cell. Once inside the cell, materials can also move around the cytoplasm. Sometimes cell transport requires energy. This energy molecule is called ATP. In active transport, the molecules have to be moved from a low concentration to a high concentration or up the concentration gradient. This requires energy. Other types of cell transport do not require energy. These molecules move from areas of high concentration to low concentration or down the concentration energy. This does not require energy. This is called passive transport. 
This includes the processes of osmosis involving the movement of water into cells or out of cells, as well as the process of diffusion, referring to the movement of other types of molecules from a high concentration to a low concentration. Respiration is another cell process. Respiration involves using food and oxygen sometimes to make energy or ATP for cells. Respiration can occur without oxygen under certain circumstances. Alcoholic fermentation can occur in plant cells and microorganisms. Lactic acid fermentation can occur in animal cells. Respiration works in a cycle with photosynthesis, which is the process that produces food. Photosynthesis makes the food. Cellular respiration breaks down the food to produce energy. The cell parts that are involved in cell respiration include, first of all, the mitochondria, because this is where the energy is actually made. However, the energy from food cannot be produced without that food being produced in the chloroplasts of plant cells. These processes work in a cycle. The products of photosynthesis are the reactants of cellular respiration. The products of cellular respiration are the reactants of photosynthesis. <laughs>